Happy Tuesday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. My name is Caroline, and I am recording a Floss Tube video today here in London, Ontario, Canada, where I am at um, my workshop, the Evertote Workshop. It's been a little while, hasn't it? I know I had said I was going to do some videos last week, but I just lived in the moment last week with my daughter. I had the best week off. I had the best vacation. 10 out of 10. <laughs> it was so much fun. Um, so I'm, I'm, as always, I know many of you are just like me. We tend to be homebodies. Um, it's always wonderful to get away, but it's all, always just as wonderful to get home and back to our, our own beds and our routine. Uh, I do miss my daughter though. We had a wonderful week. So I am going to talk, of course, about my trip to the Attic Needlework shop um, that I did go to last week. I took a grand total of one photograph, <laughs> one photograph from outside, um, but what a magical place. It was, it was just incredibly inspiring. And so I am going to tell Carrie all about it on Thursday and share it, of course, um, with those who watch. Um, if you'd like to join us over there, that is our um, shop workshop channel, YouTube, YouTube channel, which is Evertote Notes from the Workshop. And Carrie, who is the dyer of Roxy Floss Co., she and I do a joint floss tube and we'll be recording on Thursday. So I'm going to tell her all about the attic. I'll tell you all about it too. Uh, we saw, we went to the Grand Canyon and wow i mean words no words right it's it's uh it's so unbelievably majestic and fantastic you cannot believe it's real you can't believe your eyes but there it is yeah it was amazing also huge highlight of the trip was on saturday we went to the desert botanical gardens um, which I highly recommend if you're in the area and you have the chance to go. I found it a wonderful place to visit and so different than here where, where I live. Uh, it was, it was wonderful. We had a great week. So yeah, I miss my girl, but we had a great time. And so now we're, we're right back to it, aren't we? So let's take care of, I had a giveaway. Um, and I neglected to actually pull the winners in the last video that I did. So I've done that. Okay, just a quick reminder. I had three giveaways. One of them was um, being very generously set out, sent out by Brittany, who is sending out a copy of our Stitch Along, which is the Modern Folk Embroidery Sal with love. Um, she's sending out the chart, big chart version and one skein of each of the flosses. So raspberry puree, oink, and honeymoon, which are the three Roxy Flosco colors that we're using to stitch this chart. Um, and so I pulled the winner and congratulations, Keisha Wood 6494. I'll put your comment up here on the screen. Congratulations. I am going to send, once you, please email me, caroline at evertote.ca. I will send your information to Brittany who will mail you your prize. So congratulations. Uh, winner number two, this is another copy of this chart, but this is the one that came with the full box, our full Salentine box, which had our extra three designs that Jacob charted specifically for this box. Um, these are still exclusive. They have not been released as of yet. I also culled some of our um, ends from our hanks that we wind up floss and you are getting a nice handful of flosses to go along with this chart this chart congratulations grandma nat and that's g-r-m-a-n-a-t congratulations you are the lucky winner so please email me give me your address and i'll pop it off to you Third and final prize that we had for giveaway was we had one of our unicorn bags. And this was a mixed up bag because um, the bags that we have in the shop have our pink accent on the bottom. 
Um, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to use this for a giveaway. So we have a medium project bag along with a 50 gram Roxy Floss Co surprise pack. So it is full of beautiful flosses in there to add to your collection. Congratulations, Esmeralda L. You are the lucky winner of the unicorn project bag and a 50 gram surprise floss pack. Congratulations. Um, also, I noticed on Esmeralda's, Esmeralda's comment, she is, because of my videos that I did in December, she is a brand new canvas stitcher convert. And she went ahead and ordered a kit from Nancy's Needle, I believe Nancy's Needle, and um, apparently has fallen down that rabbit hole. So you're welcome. I know I have encouraged many a stitcher to give Counted Canvas a try. It's a ton of fun. And so, um, Esmeralda, I hope that you're enjoying it. I'm sure you are. Okay, so I will have another giveaway, uh, but I'm going to save it to tell you about on Friday. So there will be another video here on Friday for our Stitching Salentine giveaway. It won't be another stitching Salentine giveaway. It'll be something else, but I'm not gonna do it today. I'll do it on Friday. All right, let's show you my progress. So, believe it or not, I'm up to date. We have a goal of stitching 230 stitches a day, and there's where I'm at. Right? I know. I am not shocked that I'm keeping up because I am very dedicated to these stitch alongs that I'm hosting because I, I feel a big sense of responsibility um, to achieve my goal now that I'm hosting these stitch alongs. I've done stitch alongs in the past before where I just you know couldn't get myself together. So I'm I'm pretty proud of myself and I don't I don't feel you know I'm not mad about it at all. I love it. I'm loving stitching this piece. Um, let me put my chart behind it here so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So uh, this evening I will be working on, so I haven't done today's stitches yet. So I'm gonna finish my outline of the heart. Uh, there is an inner triangle. You can see there's an inner triangle in there. So I'll stitch those and I'll see what, what stitch count I'm at when I'm, when I'm through those. And then I will probably bring up my blue borders on each side so that I continue along, um, completing, color completing all the way up as we go. I am gonna leave my initial fill-in uh, for the end. So yeah, it's coming along. I. I'm loving stitching this. It's I'm doing mine on a piece of 40 count Roxy Flosco porcelain linen with the cauliflower flosses. So, yeah, I kept up. I'm keeping up. There we go, fresh battery. Okay, um, so yes, I went away for a week and I packed five stitching projects <laughs> and two knitting projects. And I worked on this. And one other thing, I did work on a Christmas ornament. I'm gonna save that for Thursday to show because actually I left it at home. Uh, that's all I worked on. But you know what? I'm really glad that I took my things with me. And I think I talked about this a little bit in the last video that I did. Um, I would rather overpack my projects than not have enough because there, it's it's not a comfortable feeling for me to to go somewhere, be away from my things, I like my things, and then not want to work on the one and only thing that I've brought. Fortunately, this is all I wanted to work on, so that's what I did. But I was still really happy that I had a little bit of familiarity with me along along for the ride, even though that's really all it was. It was along for the ride, but. Uh, what are you gonna do? I was pleased to have it there. So, yep, keep it up and um, right on track. Today is day 21 of our stitch along and I'm right on track to be done within 30 days. So, okay. Now, uh, something to share with you that I have been 
wa waiting to share this with you for a while because I'm super excited about this for me. <laughs> I'm super excited about this for me, but also maybe for you if you're local or if you've been looking for a framer because I have a guy and I mentioned briefly a couple of times that I was really hopeful about this shop. Um, okay, so his name is Craig and he was recommended to me by my friend Neil. If you've been here for a while, you know that I've talked about Kathy and Neil for years. They are some of my closest friends. They were the owners of my local needle workshop here in London, Ontario. They retired maybe five years ago. Time is funny. It could have been longer than five years. It could have been shorter than five years. But for me, everything is five years, right? Uh, so Neil did all of the framing at the shop and Neil has been my framer for since I started stitching, really, since I started stitching. And I've been stitching since I was, well, seriously stitching and framing things since I was about 26. So, you know, almost 25 more plus years. So Neil and Kathy retired and, but because they're friends, Neil was still kind of framing things for me. Um, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't beg or pester or anything he offered. Um, but I was starting to feel a little bit like I was, you know, maybe taking advantage though. I would, you know, there was some, some bartering going on, but still, you know, he's retired and, um, I have a lot of stuff to frame and, you know, you don't like to ask all the time. Um, but he's always been incredibly generous with his gifts and his time. Um, so Neil recommended Craig. His shop is called Chops and the C-H-O-P-S. And I, my understanding is that um, up until recently, you know, uh, maybe even a year or two ago, they were wholesale only framing, wholesale only framing. And then they opened up a retail portion of their business about, like I said, a year or two ago. And, uh, Neil had known Craig, gotten to know Craig because of the wholesale part of the business. Uh, Neil would buy his mold, some of his moldings um, from Craig. So that's how they met. And so when Neil discovered that they had opened up a retail part of it, I think he may have even asked Craig, you know, are you willing to do needlework? And Craig said, yes, they did do needlework. And because Neil had known him for so long, knew that he was, um, you know, it was, a, it was, a, they were, they have a good business. Um, he recommended him to me. So back in January, I, I drove over there. They're not too far. They're maybe a 10 minute drive here from me at the Evertote workshop. Um, so they're in the South end of the city, um, out on Wonderland road South, if you're familiar with London at all. And, um, I took seven pieces with me. I am not sharing them all today because there's going to be a bit of a finish parade on Thursday and I'm going to share all of them on Thursday. Uh, so he, uh, Craig emailed me the other day and said they were all ready and I could go and pick them up. Now keep in mind that when I dropped them off, I was under no illusion that lacing would happen because um, th they're, you know, I think even Neil had said they don't lace, but they pin. And so I'm, I was totally okay with just having my work pinned. Um, so when I went and met Craig and we were discussing, you know, the work that I do and, you know, framing needlework and embroidery, and we talked about lacing, uh, and we talked about, you know, what I sort of had in mind for the seven pieces that I was dropping off. Well, a little birdie named Neil <laughs> told me a few weeks later, he said, you know, have you spoken to Craig? And I said, well, actually, no, I haven't, but you know, I, I, I did give him seven pieces. So I'm, I'm not expecting to hear back anytime soon. He said, well, I went in to uh, talk to him about something and they were lacing your pieces. <laughs> so I love this so much. They took the initiative, this business took the initiative to learn about lacing, learn about embroidery, learn how to do it. And they now 
offer lacing. Amazing. So I went and picked it up today and I am now super pleased to say that I can recommend them 10 out of 10 if you're looking for a framer. Um, Craig and there are two women there who have done some of the lacing in my pieces and for the life of me I cannot remember their names. I was so, um, the one woman, long beautiful brown hair and she was so enthusiastic about the lacing that I was, I was, that's all I could think of was, oh my gosh, she, she, she was so enthusiastic about the lacing. I, I started to think, hmm, I wonder if she wants to learn how to stitch. But we'll, we'll start with lacing, right? So let me show you. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you a couple of pieces because, very cool, let me show you the first thing. So I'm gonna show you three of the seven pieces today. The first one I wanted to show, isn't it cute? I mean, it's just small and sweet. And technically, it's such a small piece, I could have easily turned it into a bag or something other than that. But this one is special to me because this was the first stitch along other than the countdown. The, the, the very first countdown was the very first stitch along. This was the first stitch along after the countdown that I started, that I hosted. And so I wanted it framed. I want to, my plan is to host four major stitch alongs per year. I'd love to have them framed. So this was the first one of 2023. This is a heartstring samplery, see us for coffee. Uh, it was a 32 count Panettone linen and a Roxy Flosco floss conversion. Yeah, and it's so cute. And beautifully finished on the back. Perfect. It's perfect. So you know this is going on my coffee wall. Love it. Okay, the other two pieces since we're talking about stitch alongs today. Look at this. 2022 holiday countdown. 2023 holiday countdown. So, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look at that lovely thick frame. Now I wanted very simple frames for these because I did ask Craig, you know, could you please choose something that when I come back in a year, I want to have the exact same thing done with the next piece. Because my goal is to frame all of our countdowns and have them in a matching frame. So, ta-da. So 2022, 2023 they are done they are going on the wall so the reason i chose to show you these was because he left the back off of this one so that i could show you the lacing ta-da i'm thrilled so oh that the construction is ongoing it's never ending it's never going to end we're going to be living in a construction zone forever. I, I'm just so thrilled. Um, you know, we stitch a lot, right? We're, we're fairly, we like to hang things on the wall. Finding a, tr a framer that does a good job, um, you know, it matters. So, his name is Craig. The shop is called Chops. Um, I will put the information in the description box below. And yeah, I can highly recommend them. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that you will come and visit with me on Thursday so that I can share with you the other pieces that, that Craig and his team uh, framed for me. I can't wait to put these on the wall. I can't wait to put these on the wall. And, and I'm telling you, when you go to the attic and you see their walls, all you start to think about is your own walls and how you can start filling them yourself with stitching. So, yeah. 
Okay, that is it for me today. I know today was probably a bit of a short update considering I've been away for a little while. Um, but because I've been away for a little while, um, there's quite a bit of work to catch up on and things to do around the workshop. So I don't really have a lot of time today for visiting. But um, I hope that you're enjoying your stitch along. I hope that uh, I hope that it's brought you some pleasure over the last few weeks. And um, if you're saving it and you haven't started it yet, you've got you've got some you've got something to look forward to. I will, uh, I'll be back on Friday. So until I see you later this week, I hope that you're well, I hope that you're safe, and I hope that you have lots of crafting to occupy and give you joy. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching. <laughs>